Hello everybody, Chris with Amvic here. It's going to take some time this afternoon to do a little estimating 101. We're going to show you what you need to take off of a print and how to input that into our quick estimator on our website. So what I have up here on the screen is a basic blueprint um, of a foundation. We're just going to go through the foundation. I have uh, a large basement area here and a garage area here. So the basement we're going to figure at seven courses high which comes out to a nine foot, four inches tall wall. And the garage, we're gonna figure four foot high, three courses. So what I've already done is I've already got the math done and I have this here. So the first thing you're gonna do is do get the entire perimeter dimension of the basement, which comes up to 192 feet, right? 32, 16, and then so on and so forth all the way around. And then you have to count your corners. You're gonna have one, two, three, four, five outside corners and one inside corner. Then you're going to come over here to the garage area and you're going to do the same thing. You're going to go 24 feet, 36, 25, we're going to round up, and then 12, you're going to come up with 96 lineal feet. You've got three outside corners, and then you're going to have two T's where these T into this system here. Now, the last thing you need is any opening square footages. We've got these three openings in this left side wall, and we need a total square footage of opening. So we've got two 3050 windows, which is going to give you 15 square foot a piece. And then we have one 6068 patio door, which is rounded up to 40 square feet. So you have total 70 square foot of openings. That's all the dimensions you need for this. That's all the numbers you need. Now we're going to take you over to the website and we're going to plug that into our quick estimator and get our numbers together. Okay, here we are at our website, amvixsystem.com. You're going to go up to the top right hand corner where you see technical resources. Click that. And then right off the bat, you'll see ICF quick estimator. Click into there. And now you do have to fill this information out. We'll do that real quick. You'll scroll down and we will input the information that we got off the blueprint. Now you've got multiple sections here and we're going to input the basement as one section and the garage as the other section. So that first is 9.33 feet tall. The length is 192 feet. Our wall thickness is 6. Uh, our total wall openings was 70 feet. We have five outside corners, one inside corner. And we are below grade. Make sure you do that. That's actually an important step for our rebar numbers. Then we'll go up here to the second section, which is the garage. Total height of four feet, 96 lineal feet. We're still a six inch wall section. We have no openings. We have three outside corners and two tees. We are still below grade. So you run down here, hit calculate, it'll do its magic and spit us out our numbers. Now you can scroll down here and get your numbers, but I like to download the PDF right off the bat. It lays the information out a little differently and you can save it right into a file, print it, whatever you want to do. So what you'll see is to do the foundation of that home, you'll need 38 yards of concrete plus a little bit, a little more than 3,100 lineal feet of rebar. You'll need 316 straight blocks, six tees, seven inside corners and 44 outside corners. So with that, you'll take your cost of materials, plug it in with the quantities needed. Bam, you've got a price on a basement. If you have any questions or concerns, you can contact us through ambigsystem.com or your local distributor. Have a good one.